In this video, we'll show you how to optimize mapping performance from Informatica Cloud Data Integration Elastic with Clair Tuning. Clair Tuning uses artificial intelligence to optimize Spark engine performance and reduce the time it takes to perform mapping tasks. When you run mapping tasks in Cloud Data Integration Elastic, the Spark engine performs best when the parameters are configured in certain ways. But it's not always easy to know if you're using the right parameters across your organization to get the best results from Spark. That's where Clair Tuning comes in. Here's how it works. Each time a mapping task runs in Cloud Data Integration Elastic, Informatica's AI engine, or Clair, observes the task's performance. After the task runs several times, Clair generates a list of recommended property settings to optimize the task's performance on the Spark engine. Now we'll show you how to use the auto-tuning feature. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, go to the Data Integration Service. We want to tune a mapping task that we've already created. Click the task name to see the details. This mapping task doesn't have any Spark properties defined yet. So to tune the task for the first time, we'll click Clair Tuning and select Initial Tuning. Here we'll choose how many times we want to run the mapping task. Let's run it 10 times and click Tune. While the tuning job is running, we can head over to the My Jobs page to monitor the job. When the job finishes, we can look at the results. We see that the tuning job has 10 subtasks, one for each time the task ran. We can also view the job results for each of the subtasks. Let's go back to the mapping task. To see the tuning recommendation, click Clear Tuning and select Initial Tuning Results. Here we see the recommended Spark property values and the estimated performance improvement. In our example, performance would improve by 63% and the task would run in less than half the time if we used the recommended values. Originally, the task ran in 2 minutes and 54 seconds, but using the tuning recommendation, the task would run in 1 minute and 4 seconds. Let's accept the tuning recommendation. We see that the recommended values are now added in the mapping task details. If you want to revert to the original Spark property values, you can view the initial tuning results and click Restore Values. After you've performed initial tuning for a mapping task, you can also add continuous tuning so that Claire can silently monitor each mapping task run and automatically adjust the Spark property values over time. Continuous tuning is useful in production environments where daily workloads can vary. Let's take a closer look. Click Claire Tuning and select Continuous Tuning. Click Enable Continuous Tuning, and then click OK. If at any time you want to turn off Continuous Tuning, all you have to do is click Clear Tuning, select Continuous Tuning, and then clear the Enable Continuous Tuning box. And that's it! In this video, we learned how to optimize the Spark Engine performance and reduce the time to run mapping tasks in Informatica Cloud Data Integration Elastic. We showed you how to perform initial tuning on a mapping task, view and apply the tuning recommendations, and apply continuous tuning automatically when the mapping task runs in future. For more information, check out the Clair Tuning documentation in the Cloud Data Integration Help and on Informatica's documentation portal.